guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my May clothing haul. Loads of you commented on my April haul saying, oh my gosh, I love your hauls so much, please do them. So I thought maybe I could do a haul every single month, which is going to be quite hard for me because it means I'm going to have to admit the damage that I've done. But, yeah. Also, as so many of you have commented saying how much you like my style, I thought that I could post more like outfit posts on Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave the links down below in the description box. So if you want to go follow me over there, you'll see some of the stuff that I buy and how I put it together and that kind of thing. So I was quite naughty again this month, but... So I had a friend's 21st this month and it was in a club and I just was like, oh, I don't have anything to wear, like, I don't really go clubbing that much, so everything that I have I've kind of worn and I just wanted something nice and new. So I went to New Lip because I thought I could get something that wasn't going to be too expensive in case, like, I don't want to wear it again, but... I will definitely wear this again because I'm so glad I bought it, it's so nice. And it's this white play suit and it's short but it's not too short because I know we have our tall girl problems and I mean it's short but it's not like knickers. And the materials were really really lovely, it just really doesn't feel cheap at all and it was relatively cheap. Oh, it's hoovering. Oh! So this play suit is so cute, it's perfect for like a summer night out, I just had it like bare legs and tanned and like yeah. I'd say you could wear this in the daytime and nighttime depending on like what shoes you wear it with and if you wear a jacket with it. The material is so nice, it looks lovely on, yeah so I'm really really pleased with this one. So also from New Look, I bought them on the same day and I had to buy them because I just thought they were so cute, but these little baby pink like small heel sandals yeah they're suede and they're baby pink and i've worn them a few times so excuse me they're so dirty but i'm gonna go get them cleaned if you can i love how small heels are kind of becoming in like i much prefer wearing this kind of small heel than a big one obviously because i am tall it's comfier so i'm really pleased i'm seeing so many of these shorter heels in shops at the moment and these literally go with everything that I have if you're wearing anything like pale or pastel these go perfectly and again I think these can be dressed up or down they can be worn at night time with like a more going out dress or in the daytime and I just think they're so pretty and cute and I love them guys I'll leave the links to everything if I can find it in the description box so next I went to Hollister and I don't go in there very much anymore since I stopped working there but I did just pop in just to see what it's like because I haven't been there since before Christmas and I've heard so much has changed. And I got this pair of jogging bottoms which are really not very me at all but I just thought they looked so soft and comfy for wearing around the house and I've barely taken them off. So they're these jogging bottoms and they're just like the really baggy style that come in at the bottom which is exactly what I like and they're just like a mulled grey. Um, I got them in a medium and I'm usually like small or extra small in Hollister but I just wanted them like really loose and baggy and comfortable and they really are so I really really love those. I took a little online trip to Boohoo which I do do now and then um, and there was so much stuff that I liked I had to really hold myself back and then when the parcel came there was a voucher in there for 20% off that I have to use before the end of May so there could well be some more boohoo things in my June haul. June haul. So a couple of the things that I got were in the sale, but I can't remember which ones were in the sale now. But I'll find everything online and link it in the description box. The first thing that I got is this dress. And surprise, surprise, it's like a dusky baby pink. And it's this fit and flare dress. And it's made of the scuba material, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But this does actually feel really nice, it's really soft. It's got the little Peter Pan collar which used to literally be my thing. All of my clothes had collars and then I kind of drifted from collars a bit, you know, when you get a bit sick of something. But I just thought this was so, so cute. So it comes in kind of at the waist and it doesn't stick out but it just kind of flares out, fit and flare. It's actually a really, really nice length. I do find I've bought a couple of play suits from Boohoo and they've just been too short. And I'm not being a prude, I don't like wearing long things. I like things to be short but not like obscenely short where you can see like bum cheek edge. That's not good. I got this skirt, which I absolutely love, and this was in the sale, and it was something like five pounds, and they had so many different patterns. And it's just like this tartany 
um, grey and beige. It kind of looks a bit pinky, but I'm looking at it now and it doesn't. And it just sits on the waist and goes straight down and it's really, really simple. I've been loving this. I've been wearing this non-stop this month. And it's so cute. It looks really like 60s, very twiggy, with like a high neck grey top or a high neck pink top. Next I got these shorts and these are so amazing, they're these high waisted dog tooth shorts and they have a little bit cut out at the front which looks really really cute and you tie them in a big bow at the front and these just look so cute, I've been wearing it with my Primark top that ties up in a bow at the collar, they're pleated at the front, I just think they look they look almost tailored. Yeah, I think these are so cute. They're really pretty, really different. And I think I'll be getting a lot of wear out of these this spring and summer. And the final thing that I bought this month, and it's also my favourite thing, still from Boohoo, is this dress. And if you do follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you will have seen this, because this is the dress that I wore to Beautycon. It got so many compliments. Um, everyone was asking me where it was from. So now you know, it was from Boohoo. Just drive along, it's fine. And it's made of the crepe material, it's just the prettiest pastel baby pink and it's a shift dress so it kind of is slim fitted but it's not tight. It's got the double layer at the front and the back is so cute. It opens up um, and exposes like your back but it's at just the right level so you can still wear a bra and you won't be able to see. And yeah, this dress got so many compliments. If you don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram, go over and have a look at the dress in action. <laughs> I just loved wearing it. Um, I can't wait to wear it again. Come on then. Come on then. Right guys, this is my cat. She's decided to join us. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Don't go under the bed. No. I only let you in so I could show you in the video. Come here. Nelly, come here. No. No, here she is! Hello, this is Nelly, everyone. Little, oh, okay, she doesn't really like me or anyone actually. I'm gonna say hello to everybody. Nope. Okay, goodbye then. So I'm just absolutely in love with this dress. It's so classic and elegant and feminine and beautiful, but it doesn't look like you've tried very hard. It's still kind of casual. And I just wore it with my baby pink loafers. You're just walking around and you really like your dress and you're like, <clears throat> I really, really loved it. They actually do it in a pastel blue as well. Actually, pretty much the same colour as the dress I'm wearing now, which is from Dorothy Perkins, but it's a year old, so yeah. So I think I might have to use my 20% off and order this in the blue as well, because I'm just obsessed with it. It's one of those things that I just know I'm gonna wear to death, so I think it's probably good that I get another one. And then just a couple of beauty bits I'll show you. I repurchased my Max Factor Lip Elixir in the shade Simply Nude, which is such an amazing lipstick. The lipstick I'm wearing on my lips right now is Blankety from MAC and I adore that lipstick. It's an amplified cream lipstick so it's so good and the colour is just like this perfect nude with like a, a tinge of pink. But this MAC Factor one is pretty much identical and it has the same feel on the lips as well. So if you didn't want to buy a MAC one, I would definitely recommend checking out the colours that Max Factor have because it's a really, really nice quality lipstick. And this colour is identical to Blankety, so yes. And then lastly, I got this nail varnish from Bourjois. And I picked it up just because this is my favourite colour ever for like everything. I was going to say for nails, but for everything, for clothes, for shoes, for lipsticks, for room decor. <laughs> Literally this colour is just like my favourite colour in the world. And I love trying out new nail varnishes, so I had to get it. And it's the Bourjois Lalac. 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 I feel like my nose is a bit red. I get a bit Rudolphy when I'm hot, okay? Some L'Oreal CC colour correcting on that to get rid of any redness. And if you watched my April haul, you'll have seen that I got Rose Hip from Barry M. Rose Hip from Barry M, like I said in my April haul, is my colour. I wear this all the time. But now I've discovered this, and putting the two of them together, Rose Hip from Barry M is much more cool toned, and this is much more warm toned, like slightly peachier. And this is slightly icier, if that makes sense. And I think I actually prefer the Bourjois one to the Barry M. I'm wearing it on my nails right now, I don't know if you can see. It's slightly peachy pinky, it's just really, really pretty. And I just know I'm gonna be going through this so quickly and buying this again and again and again. 
And that's the end of my May clothing haul. That's everything that I bought that was worth showing anyway. Let me know what your favorites were. And if you do want me to continue doing this, I will have a June haul filmed for you in a month's time. Don't forget to add me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll leave the links down there in the description box. Get in touch because I love having chats with you guys over there. It's so much fun. Thank you as always for your lovely comments and I shall see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.